welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Braid. So this is a film that came out earlier this year. I know a lot of you have probably already seen this film. I know a lot of the channels I subscribe to have already reviewed this, but I finally just got to watch it. It's available on Amazon Prime now. Um, and so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into talking about this film. If you don't know what Braid is about, it's about these two friends who are drug dealers that end up wanted. So they decide to go to the house of a childhood friend of theirs who is extremely wealthy but also happens to be completely insane. So in an attempt to kind of get to her money, they have to go along with this really messed up game. It's basically a game of house slash doctor. There are three rules to playing this game, which the first one is that everyone must play. Second is that no outsiders are allowed and three that no one is allowed to leave so this movie is completely crazy it stars madeline brewer who many of you will probably know from cam she was also in the first season of orange is the new black she's also in handmaid's tale just a ton of stuff i adore her i actually didn't know that she was in this before i watched it and then when she popped up on screen i was like hell yeah um, but it really just mainly focuses on these three women. All of these women, these actresses were so great. I know that it is also directed by a woman and I believe that this is her first film, which is really surprising to me. This definitely seems like a film that would have been done by somebody who has experience. Um, and I definitely give her credit. This was a fantastic film. Visually, it's definitely very weird. Um, there's... I don't want to get too spoilery for those who haven't seen it, but there is a bit of, you know, drug trip involved. Like I said, the two of the girls are drug dealers, and so that plays heavily into a lot of scenes in this film. Um, there's parts where it's black and white, and then into these bright, like, neon colors, and then scenes where it's filmed upside down, and you're definitely kind of going along on a trip with these girls as you're watching everything unfold. Um, it's definitely a bit of a mind game. There's parts where you don't know if this is real, if it's part of the drug trend. It definitely gets pretty crazy. I really like this film, if you can't tell. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the storyline was really great. It sounds super cheesy until you actually watch the film. So if you have not seen this film, I do highly suggest it. I think it's worth it. Uh, I think it's a really good film. And the ending, I don't wanna get too spoilery into the ending. Um, I don't wanna give anything away in case you haven't seen the film, but it was definitely like a what kind of ending to me, but it makes sense for really the entirety of this film. So if you've seen Braid, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. If you did like this review, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks of being Patreon, links are in the description below, along with all of my social media. And I'll see you guys later with another video.